Barack Obama linked to that guy screen left. That is uh, Bill Ayers, a radical from the 60s from the Weather Underground, who has admitted to planning bombings against targets in the United States, like the Pentagon and the U.S. Capitol. So who is Bill Ayers, and why isn't anybody in the mainstream media digging deeper into his ties with Barack Obama? Because he does have significant ones. Joining us, Bill Gavin, former assistant director of the FBI in New York. Good morning to you, Mr. Director. Good morning, Greg. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the ties that Barack Obama has to Bill Ayers. Because you, in being associated with the FBI, you would know whether or not this guy was dangerous, right? Is he? It, I don't know if he's currently dangerous, Gretchen, but I can say this. At the time when he was with the Weather Underground organization, you know, the spinoff from uh, the SDS, he was a dangerous person. And what bothers me right now is that everybody says, well, 40 years ago, you can't hold us against this, this individual. He's now a professor and he seems to have a productive life, both he and his fugitive, former fugitive wife, uh, Bernadine Ray Dorn. Mm -hmm. The problem that I have is he's interviewed in the year uh, around 2000, 2001. Uh, uh, for the New York Times, and he says at that time, I don't regret putting down bombs. I don't think we did enough. Yeah. That is a little bit frightening to me. And uh, if he still has that philosophy and he was running, uh, 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 maybe uh, introducing Barack Obama to citizens within the neighborhood and having mm -hmm. uh, a little uh, meeting at his home, that's problematic for yeah. me. Yeah. You know, uh, the, uh, the New York Times yesterday, uh, two days ago, referred to him as a former terrorist. He never renounced it. Uh, is, there is no statute of limitations on domestic terrorism, is there? No, there isn't, but uh, uh, the, he was never tried, neither he nor Bernadine uh, Dorn were tried uh, because of some technicalities. I think they ran into some uh, problems with surveillance uh, yeah, and whatnot, so they weren't tried. Right. Bill, uh, let me ask you this. Um, Barack Obama, when he was asked this question point blank in one of the primary debates, said that, uh, you know, look, this is a guy who lives in my neighborhood. And, uh, you know, I don't really know him that well. And at the same time, he sat on the board of the Woods Fund, an educational group, for three years with Bill Ayers. What would you make of a relationship of somebody you would know, people who sit on boards? Do they know the other board members? They sure as heck do know, uh, Gretchen. They know who the other board members are. This board met about four times a year and also had some additional uh, meetings with the people who are on the board. You know who these people are. Sure. And Bill Ayers is a well-known person. I yeah. mean, he, his background is well-known. Why would you continue? It's, it's not just this one isolated instance that, that would give people some problems. Right. It's his 20-year involvement with the Reverend Wright. It's his involvement with uh, Redsco. It's his involvement with this guy. That shows maybe some judgment uh, sure. failure that uh, that's in there and and bill uh, obama was involved with bill Ayers for years even though he's described him just as a guy he knows from his neighborhood uh, let me ask you this bill have you ever uh, gone over the hall uh, over to the house of a guy who is a terrorist for dinner or a fundraiser or anything <laughs> Uh, not and continue to work for the FBI, Steve. I haven't. No. Yeah. I mean, why? Why would if if somebody is a known terrorist, why would you hang out with them? Uh, I have no explanation for why you would do that, Steve. It just yeah. doesn't make any sense at all. You would distance yourself, and if you had to remove yourself from the board. That's fine. Yeah. Remove yourself from the board. All right. Hey, uh, let's just talk about what the strategy for John McCain is going to be, because I picked up the Daily News today, and we find out for the last uh, th under 30 days now, John McCain's strategy will be, uh, the stra uh, one of his key strategists told Thomas DeFrank of the Daily News, we have no choice. We can't win on the economy. We have to attack him personally. We have to, if we don't turn the page, we will lose. What See, strategist I said that? Yeah, I think we don't know. It's an unnamed strategy. Because right. I'm not so sure they should be broadcasting exactly what their strategy I'm is. Sure Although it's should. pretty apparent today and over the weekend because Governor Sarah Palin, after her performance Thursday night at the debate, now in the attack mode, which is the mode of the VP pick, mm -hmm. usually. Um, and so she went right after Barack Obama on this Bill Ayers Association, this guy in Illinois who has terrorist ties in his past. Yep. And Barack Obama had a little coffee chat with him when he was running for state senate in Illinois, although he says that they're really not close anymore. Let's listen to Governor Palin. Well, what's, ha what's happening is she's going after Bill Ayers because, have you noticed this? The mainstream media really is taking a pass at digging into anything in Barack Obama's background. 
Uh, some on the right say, look, Barack Obama has no uh, executive experience, and so you really got to trust the sort of decisions he's made and uh, who he's surrounded himself with. And if you look at Bill Ayers or Resco or Jim Johnson, the guy who ran Fannie Mae into the ground, or Freddie Mac, one or the other, uh, you wonder about his judgment. That's what they say on the right. Mm -hmm. Well, Obama is responding now to Governor Palin. He had this to say about the McCain camp attacking his associations. Senator McCain and his operatives are gambling that they can distract you with smears rather than talk to you about substance. They'd rather tear our campaign down than lift this country up. That's what you do when you're out of touch, out of ideas, and running out of time. Uh, and so not only does Barack Obama fire him back, they're also going to start bringing up the Keating Five, which you know uh, Senator uh, uh, McCain was uh, looked at, examined, yeah. and cleared on, even though they did cite, while after clearing him, saying they did question his judgment of uh, going in front of, uh, going in front of, uh, and going to bat for, for Charles Keating in one instance. See, he really regrets that. He said that was the worst time of his life. Right. He said it was worse than even his years in prison. Well, according to, I, I've, I worked in Washington back in, the, in those days. And the thing about McCain was he regarded Charles Keating as a guy from Arizona who was very prominent. And so, you know, somebody he talked to. Uh, McCain's camp did wind up taking, I think, $112,000 mm -hmm. from uh, Charles Keating for campaign. You know, he donated it to the campaign. But when you think about $112,000, you look at Barack Obama, he actually got $126,000 from the people who worked at Fannie and Freddie. So, I mean, if you, if you put it comparatively and people are going, look, the Keating Five was a huge financial scandal. How did we get to where we are today with this huge number where this uh, S&P is down right now? Fannie and Freddie with the uh, subprime thing got us here, and yet nobody's looking at that. See, to me, this all boils down to the people that you choose to associate with to get elected. I mean, I think when we were discussing this with the Jeremiah Wright situation, that pastor, he was pastor of a humongous populated church in Chicago. It was politically smart, in sure. quotations, for Barack Obama to join this church. Then he found himself in difficulty because, uh-oh, he's starting to say some things that maybe I don't agree with. The same could be said for Bill Ayers. He was a community organizer, probably well-known in the community. Barack Obama wants to get into politics. To me, people aren't really looking at this, the deep-seated reasons why people do right. things. And I, it's to I just get wanna, elected. Right.